or why I can't sleep that night. These sirens couldn't be any louder for I was covered in numbers of dreams. But along with an annoying ringing in my ears that not even the biggest number of sheep could make this disappear. And these voices who I couldn't and wouldn't pay any mind to kept creeping up on me, especially those who I screamed no to me because in their minds I'm fragile and weak. If only they knew what it feels like to wander in piercing darkness, trying to find the smallest glimpse of light, then they would know what it feels like to bump into spears of hate, paranoia, of phobias, to repeatedly step upon broken mirrors and burning embers of past confrontations and feel your soul weakened to the core. That's how I feel as I sit silenced in this house full of strangers. I feel alone. So I write poems. Because nothing else is as comforting as a pen and paper expressing my emotions in the only way I can because I feel alone. And there are times when I reopen scars to dig out any hope or any courage I have left. I reassure myself that I'm strong. I'm strong. No matter how many nasty phrases are thrown at me, no matter how many nasty phrases my family throws at me. Tonight, I wrap myself in a blanket of diversity. Here I stand, a young, educated, queer, Chicana. I am part of the movement. I am movement. You are your own movement. You are infinite. You are infinite. You are beautiful.